Hello guys, uh, welcome to a new fun video uh, in my home cockpit or in the Citizen simulator. Today I only have one visual running, the center projector, but believe it or not it's running on a Mac Mini with an M1. You might want to check out the funny discussions we had on explain.org. Uh, some folks asked me to do a more scientific test using the benchmark tests that are available. However, I uh, wasn't able to run the scripts. Uh, if anybody has an idea how to run the test, uh, please drop me a line and uh, I will run it. So I fired up the Zebo 737, filled in FMC, uh, took a bit of fuel, and now we see whether or not it takes off and flies in Lima Echo Papa Alpha in Palma de Mallorca. Lovely, and we're flying, and we're having now, and of course it's a great scenery, uh, not very FIPS intense, because we are on an island. So I hope you had a bit of fun. Um, obviously the Mac Mini is not yet uh, the perfect choice to drive uh, a full home cockpit with three projectors. However, I tested the Mac Mini with Xplane 11.5 uh, as a desktop sim and I was surprised how smooth and how performant the small box uh, appeared. Um, you see a screenshot approaching again Lepa, um, Palma de Mallorca, uh, achieving 44 frames per second and with a 3D cockpit view of the Zebo 737. I took the stock Cessna and flew around Mallorca and it is really really fun uh, to fly on the Mac Mini. Uh, here you see a video. I gave 4K a shot and of course uh, the beauty of the 4K resolution is, is stunning. I was getting around 25 frames per second. I'm so curious how the ARM version of X-Plane will perform.